I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks. Inflate your five inch round balloons with four strokes of the Qualitex hand pump. So that's to four and a half inches, thereabouts. Press down to round the balloons off. Wrap the necks over one another, wrap around a couple of times and tie. I make another one of these. Take the two duplets, place them on top of one another, cross two balloons over to form a cluster of four. Inflate your next cluster to four inches. So that's three full strokes of the Qualitex hand pump. So again, round off, wrap the necks over one another, close to one another and tie. And make another one of these. And form a cluster of four or a quad. To connect your clusters together, place one cluster on top of the other. Bring one of the necks up from the lower layer wrap around a few times to connect everything together. I'm connecting a sand weight to the base here, just pulling that neck up into the top cluster and wrapping around a few times. If you want to know how to make a sand weight, I'll leave a link to the video tutorial in the description below. Take a little piece of 260, tie a knot, and then tie a second knot so you've got this cluster of two knots. Okay, and trim off the excess either side of the knot to create what we call a raisin. You're going to need a 160 or a 260 twisting balloon. I just like to cut the tip end off. I find it easier to work with if I do that. And an 11 or 12 inch balloon. Put your little raisin inside the large balloon and then inflate. So fully inflate your balloon and let some of the air out. You want to be able to pinch hold of the bottom of the balloon, okay? So tie a soft knot by which I mean don't pull the knot tightly and then roll the knot along the neck so you can squish some of the air into the neck of the balloon okay just gives you a bit more room to work for this next stage so just grab hold of that raisin at the bottom of the balloon put a twist in the latex and take your 260 or 160 wrap that around a few times and then tie the ends together okay and when i'm using this technique i do like to tie twice just to be on the safe side. We can use the tails of the twisting balloon just to wrap around the base to secure our cat's body to the base. Fully inflate a five inch round balloon and then let quite a bit of air out and downsize. So we're doing, we fully inflate first of all to stretch out the latex, okay? So this wants to be able to sit comfortably in the palm of your hand. So that's maybe three inches or so. And we're going to split this in half. So just grasp hold of either side of the nozzle and twist your hands in opposite directions. And that will split the balloon and you can wrap that neck and nozzle around the join okay and we're now going to attach this here so just pull the knot and nozzle of that larger balloon and wrap it around okay so inflate two five inch balloons with three strokes of the hand pump so that's to four inches wrap these together tie you can set these aside. The next pair we're going to inflate to three and a half inches. So that's just two strokes of the hand pump. Round these off and tie. Connect these to your first pair. Inflate this balloon with three strokes. So to four inches, put a twist in the neck and this balloon with just one stroke. Okay, 
So you'll need to stretch out the latex a little bit on this balloon just to bring out the shine. But this is still a little bit large for the nose. So I'm letting out quite a bit of air. So that's perhaps three or four fingers and then tying that together. Okay. And then you can wrap these into your cluster. So you have two four inch balloons at the front here, two smaller balloons at the top, another four inch balloon at the back and your small nose here. I've inflated a 260 to a tail of about three fingers and take the knot and nozzle and wrap it into the center of your cluster. Take an uninflated 260 and tie the ends together. Just push the two base balloons through the rubber band and then pass the rest of the 260 over those two little bubbles there. So it's going to just loosely connect everything. Wrap the 260 around the balloon at the back of the head and then twist off a bubble and wrap that into these bubbles here. Bring the rest of your 260 around the front of the cat's tummy and wrap the end into the split duplet at the uh, base of the cat's neck. So that's what you've got. Inflate a five inch balloon for the eyes and then let out a lot of air. So you want a very small bubble of just a couple of inches. So just put your fingers either side of the knot and nozzle and twist. And then you can wrap that around, okay? Stretch out the neck from the eyeballs, wrap it, it underneath the nose, back up into the eyeballs and wrap between the eyeballs a couple of times. I've inflated a 260 to a three finger tail. Give your balloon a squeeze and a stretch to make sure it's nice and soft. And then just wrap the 260, a knot and nozzle into those pinch twists, sorry, into those two bubbles, the split duplet at the neck. So we're going to make the ears. So twist off a long bubble. I just want to have a look at my cap from the front. Okay. And then make another bubble that is about half the length of the bubble you've just made. Okay. And then make another bubble to match this one. Followed by another bubble to match the long one. Okay. And then you're going to pass those bubbles through this loop here. And you're going to wrap this section into the neck. So just wrap those around a couple of times and then we can trim off the end. and tie in a knot. Next, inflate two five inch balloons with just one stroke of the hand pump. And then you can tie these together and just stretch out to bring out the shine. I'm going to take a piece of 260, wrap that around the center and tie. Okay, and I'm going to trim away the nozzles on the five inch balloons. Pull that 260 through 
the loop there and then just pull back into the base and wrap around. I'm just puff inflating a 260 with the pocket pump. So that's just going to put the smallest amount of air into that 260. And then place the 260 over the top of the eyeballs and just pressure fit that in between the five inch balloons. And I'm just going to use a Sharpie brush tip just to draw circles in the eyes. And then when the black ink is dry, you can just use a, an Edding 750 paint pen to draw some eye highlights. So I like to use the Edding 750 because it doesn't reactivate the um, black ink. Some paint, pens, some paint pens do, so you just have to be careful which ones you pick. To inflate a little heart balloon and then just attach a 160 to help me attach this. So I'm just tying that 160 directly into the knot just to make it easier and uh, less bulky. So we can use these two little ends here to attach. I should have put the tongue in before I put the eyes, uh, eyebrows in. It's probably going to make the eyebrows move, yes. Okay, and I'm just going to reinstate the eyebrow. I've inflated a 260 to the end. I'm going to let a lot of air out because this is going to be the tail, so we don't want it to be the full length of the 260. This needs to be nice and soft, okay, and then tie a knot. Okay, and then we can whittle the balloon just to give it some shaping. and see how that looks on our design. So I'm just going to pull that into the base, wrap around, and then I can position the tail wherever I want it to be. I fell out with the eyebrows just once too often. I don't know why, I don't normally have such a problem with them, but today they're just not behaving on this design. So this cat's going to have a monobrow instead. So I've taken the 260, I've tied it in a loop, and then I've just passed the eyeballs and the nose through the loop, and the loop is just sitting on the top there. The other thing I've done to give my um, cat a different posture so that his head is angle downwards is I have moved the two bubbles at the back. They were at the front underneath the neck, which is pushing the head up, which I wasn't very happy with. And I've just positioned them either side of this um, 260 here. So I'm much happier with that. I've also given him a little mouse. I have got a tutorial on how to make the mouse if you uh, want to see that. And I've used a 160 for the mouse. Uh, but certainly my ginger cat, brings me mice all the time. I keep telling him I prefer chocolate, but uh, he brings me mice instead. I've got another version of the cat here. So made the same way. Uh, the eyebrows behaved in this version, uh, but all I've done with this one is I've made a 260, made two loops, wrapped um, the loop around the base of the cat back in here, and then I've just stuck the cat's body using some U glue dashes. I've just stuck this um, base to the cat's body and I have pressure fitted the tail in between this uh, 260 and the cat's body just to give him a very different look. And this cat is based on my lovely cat Midnight who is very chilled and relaxed, which is why he's um, looking pretty relaxed in this sculpture. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you'll give it a like. And if you've enjoyed this video, I've picked this one for you next. I hope you enjoy it.